technologies. Stem cells are capable of cell renewal and differentiation into many different cell lineages. It can be used to grow new cells to replace damaged organs or tissues. To date, stem cells have been used for treatments of a variety of diseases in different animal species. The initial focus of regenerative veterinary medicine was directed to the orthopedic diseases targeted in dogs and horses. Stem cell therapy commonly refers to the process of pressing stem cells into disease or damaged tissues. This process is often referred to as regenerative medicine, a technique that enables the body to repair and regenerate damaged tissues. How does it work? Researchers grow stem cells in a lab, and these stem cells are manipulated to specialize into specific types of cells. The specialized cells can then be implanted into a person. Disease As mentioned in the technology-wise, stem cell therapy is first used to treat orthopedic disease in dog and horse. Orthopedic disease is a kind of injuries that affect the musculoskeletal system. Another common disease is osteoarthritis. It is a chronic joint inflammation that caused by deterioration of joint cartilage. Stem cell therapy can now be used to treat Alzheimer, a dementia that affects memory, Parkinson, brain disorder that leads to shaking, difficulty with balance and coordination, a myotrophic skeletal sclerosis, a progressive nervous system disease, leukemia cancer for blood cell, neuroblastoma cancer from immature nerve cell, multiple myeloma cancer formed in a type of white blood cell, and spiral cord disease. Sources Stem cell organate from two main sources, adult body tissues and embryonic tissue. For instance of adult body tissue, bone marrow through bone marrow aspiration, adipose tissue mainly composed of fat cell through liposuction and umbilical cord. For the embryonic tissue, it gets from the embryo which is formed in the very earliest stage of pregnancy after the sperm fertilize the egg within 3 to 8 weeks. Ethical issues Stem cell therapies may cause destruction of embryos. Embryos have potential to become human beings. If embryonic cell is implanted into a woman's uterus, it may develop into a fetus and become a life-born child began to make use of uh, embryonic stem cells, I did certainly struggle quite a lot in trying to reconcile my own Christian faith um, with the fact that these had come from human embryos which had been sacrificed for that purpose. Another ethical issue is ovary hyperstimulation syndrome. In stem cell therapies, ovary is put into hyperdrive to produce a lot of eggs and when this happens to a woman's body, it will put her at the risk of pulmonary complications, split imbalance, stroke and death.